Thanks. I'm glad too. But why do you like me so much? Why? Because you're dependable. I hope we can keep doing this. Verified information, my ass. You can't trick us anymore. Everyone, please calm down. Do not leave your domiciles without permission. The government was tricking us. Who's going to believe you now? There's more confusion than I thought. People were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion. Their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that. I'm assuming you all saw the video as well? Yeah, we did. A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used Arahabaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Fubuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. Next thing I noticed, Seiron had taken me in. Seiron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell you, Ito. Me? Togetsu has sent people after you. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait. The whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you even in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived, but rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe, and... Major General! Are you okay? Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. We should all go back to my hideout to give Major General Fubuki some much-needed rest. Thanks for having us. Wow. So this is your guys' hideout. Is it the same type of unit we use? The make looks identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. <sighs> That's good. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings, then. Kagero, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. Oh, you're going to bring that up. I guess that makes sense. 
I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. <sighs> truth about Chairman Sumeragi's assassination. I haven't had to say anything about it yet. I have to tell him. It's about his father. Sorry for bringing so many people to your hideout, Kasane. It's fine, we'll share. Please feel at home, Hanabi. Wow, thanks. It's nice to have everyone together despite the situation. All working together again. How wonderful. Right, Sugumi? Kagura, you hid something from me. You hid something. Don't say it twice like that. I'm sorry, I am. I'm really sorry. Sharing our knowledge is what saved you, Rito. Thanks, Luca. I should be thanking you. We needed everyone there to keep Yuito alive. I think you all did wonderfully. Good.
Yeah, I think that's a pretty good change. Hey, Kasane. Naomi drove those Togetsu guys off for us, but we can't take it easy yet. Are you saying someone else is coming? I'm sure of it. They want you and Yuito at any cost. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Are you using a battle mask now? That's a good idea. No, I don't plan on using it yet. Really? It looks brand new. Captain Seto left this for me. Oh, he did? I guess they found it when they went through his belongings. And it finally made its way to me. I see. That's nice. Yeah. But when I look at this, I can feel how much expectation he had for me. I'm not worthy of this mask yet. I'll use it once I'm stronger. Don't you think he wanted you to use it right away? You say you want to wait until you're stronger, but do you even have a concrete goal? Well, when I'm as strong as him... How many years will that take? It's not going to take years. I'll be as strong as him real soon. When I was a rookie, Captain Seto would always encourage me, telling me I could succeed. I want to live up to his expectations. If I don't, then I have no right putting on this mask. He cared about Captain Seto. I heard that someone found his fountain pen. Was that you? What if it was? I thought so. Thank you for that. You don't need to thank me. I just didn't want his belongings discarded on the street. I know exactly how you feel, but why did you let me have it? Because you needed that pen more than I did. I saw the way you looked at him. I know you admired him. What? Wait, don't tell me you didn't even realize it. How did you know? It's pretty obvious. I looked up to him too, but I'm pretty sure we had different types of feelings for him. Different how? Figure it out yourself. They're your feelings. Ugh. I've never given my feelings for Captain Seto any thought. Anyway, I let you have that fountain pen. I swear, if you don't take good care of it, I'm coming after you. I'll treasure it. Thank you again. You've done a lot to help me. Where's all this coming from? Listen, don't get the wrong idea about me. Things can come to light even after a long time passes. I have Sheedan to thank for making me realize that. If platoon morale drops, it affects me too. So, it's not like I was doing it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> like I'd say it again! Damn it! Besides, I bet he would have done the same thing with the fountain pen. Really? I know he must have cared about you too. He was a really good person. He was a great mentor admired by everyone. And someone who meant more than anything to me. I no longer have anyone that recognizes my abilities. But I'll continue working hard to someday reach his level. If your goal is to be like him, why don't you work on your people skills too? I'd much rather use that time to work on my abilities. People will naturally come to me as long as I'm irrefutably strong. Then that means you're not strong enough to have people follow you now. What's wrong with that? I know I'm nowhere near him. It's good that you know where you stand. I suppose you're planning to work hard in order to reach his status. Yeah. Things can't stay this way. You just wait. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. If anything, I'm letting you lead us. Don't forget that. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. I'm just saying, don't be smug. Don't let it go to your head. I 
I feel like I've learned a little more about you. However annoying that may be. I don't know what you mean by annoying, but it's good that we understand each other better. Hey, you free now? Yes. What is it? There's something I want to ask you. Come with me. Why did you bring me all the way here? Because nobody will overhear us. Look at this. That's the analysis from a recent fight. Don't worry about the details. I want you to look at the other kill rate. Your numbers have been improving lately. You must be seeing results from your training. Yeah, but you're doing even better than me. Not by much. It's all within the margin of error. Listen. That small difference you're talking about is something I've never been able to make up for. It doesn't make sense to me that no matter how hard I study and work, I still can't beat you. It's time I swallow my pride and ask you, what kind of secret training are you doing? Secret training? I'm not doing anything like that. No, there has to be some sort of secret strategy you're using. I told you I'm not doing anything like that. If you watch me, you can see that I'm not doing anything special. Are you saying that this is just a difference in our natural abilities? How? If that's true, then it doesn't matter what I do. I'll never be able to catch up to you. I don't really understand. Is there a reason you need to catch up to me? I should just be some baggage the rest of my life? I don't think so. I hate to admit it, but everyone in this platoon are top talents, even Kagero. I'm the only one that's different. I'm nothing compared to the rest of you. I have to work myself to the bone if I'm even gonna keep up. And it's paying off. I don't see you as baggage. Even after looking at the data? No matter how hard I train, this is the reality. If this is my limit, then I can't stay in this platoon! Shiden, what should I do once I catch up to him? I don't know how to tell him how I feel. Kasane? Shiden just rushed out of here. Yes, I'm sorry. It seems like I've upset him again. You don't need to apologize. I know you must have tried communicating with him. You two have such different upbringings and perspectives. You have to assume you'll have disagreements. That means he'll never understand where I'm coming from. Right. What do you want him to do? What do you mean? I want him to continue fighting with us as a team. Have you ever tried telling him? Why don't you catch up to him and say just that? I have a feeling he might get angry again, but I haven't thought of a better way to reach out to him. Okay, I'll go after him. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Shiden is heading towards Seiran. Haruka, how do you know his location? I'm the team's operator. He just rushed out of the hideout, so I figured you two got into another fight. Good call. That's exactly what happened. Thank you for telling me. Good luck. I hope it goes well. There you are. Kasane? Why did you come after me? Get lost! Where are you going? <sighs> I understand that you're troubled. I can see how discouraging it is to work hard and not see results. But running away just because you couldn't become stronger than someone? That's not the kind of person you are. 
You just overestimated me. This is what I'm really like. I'm not even that good. But my pride makes me constantly worry about everyone around me. I put on a facade because I'm scared I'm inferior to everyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but why are you so obsessed with being better than everyone? How useful an individual is depends on circumstances. Have you ever been unable to control your own abilities? You mean my power? Yeah. When I was young, I caused an accident because of it. Nobody got hurt, but I was just lucky. The next time it happens, someone might get hurt. Worst case scenario, people might even die. I put on these insulation gloves and trained hard to control my power. But I can't get rid of that nagging feeling. Even back when I was still a kid, I've never been able to overcome my own weakness. So you feel inadequate? <sighs> I've never found you lacking. Our platoon needs your composure, analytic skills, and judgment. Please, come back to us. I want to keep fighting alongside you. I... An other warning. Kasane, Shiden, others have been confirmed inside Seiron City. Others? There was no forecast. Sometimes the forecasts are wrong. Look, there are still citizens inside who weren't able to evacuate in time. Let's go. We have to save them. Yeah. Haruka, send us the other's location. That's right near my home. What? You didn't know either, Haruka? Is there a suppression force heading there now? There's a patrol in the area. They should prioritize evacuating the nearby civilians. My family should have already evacuated by now. We should head to where they appeared. You must be worried about your family. I don't need your concern. A member of the OSF should prioritize saving the citizens over their own family. You can drop the act. If you lose them without doing anything, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Yes, let's hurry. Wait, you're coming with me? Obviously. Hurry up or I'm leaving you behind. Hey, why are you taking the lead? I'll support you from here. You two be careful. What's going on? How are there still this many others? The reports were wrong. There aren't even suppression forces. Let's go help. Wait, will we be able to hold back that many others? Shouldn't we wait for reinforcements? If we don't act now, they'll start attacking people. We have to slow them down here. Against this many? That's suicide! Who else is going to save them? This isn't a question about if we can do it. We have to. Damn it. I know that. Captain Seto would say the same thing. There's no guarantee the civilians will be able to get away before the reinforcements arrive. My parents might. So we're the only ones who can stop them here. Captain Seto, give me strength. Let's go. You better pull your own weight. Right back at you. Let's do this. Use it, Will. I'll support you. I confirmed a water attack. Are you okay? Being wet makes it hard to move. <laughs> Not bad, I guess. Guys, it's over. The enemy is attacking with electricity. You'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. Next. It dropped something rare. This is good. Keep your guard up. I'm off. Next. This is pretty good. Time for stealth. Lend me your power. Keep your gun. Shiden's electrokinesis might work. Help me, Kagura. 
I'm not done yet. You can't escape my electrokinesis. Next. Give it to me, Arashi. Leave it to me. Aim for that spot. I'll do it. Bravado. If you're tired, you can run back to the hideout. I'll take care of this. Is that supposed to provoke me? How oh, childish. Then I'll go along with the next time. Whatever. Now let's finish this. That's all of them. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Who do you think I am? I was careful not to let any of them get away. I'm pretty sure we managed to stop them all here. Haruka, this is Shiden. We exterminated the others that appeared at our current location. Are there any more sightings? I was just about to contact you. We've confirmed that all others in Ceyron have been exterminated. You two really pulled off quite the feat. Good job. There's a rescue team headed your way. All the civilians have been accounted for at the evacuation site. Zero casualties. That's good news, Shiden. Thank goodness. Why don't you go see your family? No. I just needed to know they're okay. Then let's head back to the hideout. Sorry. You did well out there and made some good calls. You really pulled your weight. Enough with the flattery. I was too busy fighting to think about anything else. That just shows how much you were able to focus. Neither of us had the time to think about anything. I guess so. But this wasn't an official deployment. There won't be any data to evaluate. Does that upset you? No. I feel accomplished. I don't even regret putting on Captain Seto's mask. If that's how you feel, then that's worth more than any analysis data. You're right. This is the first time I've ever felt that there's more to an encounter than stats. I think I'll stay on the team for a little while longer. You can stay as long as you want. <laughs> it's only as long as I feel I have something to gain. This platoon isn't as bad as I thought. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thanks. Just looking at you makes me angry. I don't remember doing anything to you. I'm not saying you did something wrong. I'm mad at myself for being overtaken by someone like you. Watch out. I'm not the kind of person who gives up so easily.
You're someone I can rely on in battle. You know, your personality aside and all. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I'll return the same. This is nice. I wonder if Yuita is okay.
Thank you so much. Oh, Kasane. Perfect. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh. Actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone. But the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but I suppose I should humor him a bit. Alright, I accept your thanks. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us, but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. He has a good point, I'll give him that. It's true that I'm here thanks to my sister. Oh. Right, I haven't told you yet. It's about Nagi. He's dead. What? Nagi? You mean that Nagi? What happened? He was subjected to the government's personality rehabilitation. And, well, he attacked me when he was ordered to take my brain. I thought there was something I could do for him, a way to bring him back. But I was too late. I couldn't save him. I can't even imagine how hard that must have been, for you and Nagi. He... He was a good guy. A really good guy. He didn't deserve that fate. He got roped into the government's conspiracy just because he knew me. Even if he weren't friends with you, I'd imagine Nagi would still find himself involved if he joined the OSF. But if he hadn't become friends with me, then the chance of this happening would have been much lower. It's my fault he lost his life. Nagi was his own person. He made his own choices in life. He wasn't an extra in yours. Even if his life came to a painful end, I think it's arrogant to say it was only because of you. Also, I don't know how he truly felt, but I'm guessing he wouldn't want his friendship with you denied. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go through life not being friends with him either. That's why I wanted to save him. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. 
You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. He seems to have matured in some ways. And there's been so much going on lately. For both him and me. Kasane, you're kind of like a lone wolf. You mean that I'm isolated? No, not like that. Uh, sorry, maybe that was a bad choice of words. I meant that you can take care of yourself. I really think that's amazing. I think I got to know you a little better. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you did. Why don't we go to Misubi's? We'll have some tea. Sure, I could use a break. Let's go. I'm just glad I don't have to fight you anymore. We finally became friends. It sucked not being able to just go out for some tea. Yes, I'm glad we're fighting for the same thing too. So this is just hypothetical, but... Hmm? What? If I had asked you to fight alongside me when we were enemies, what would you have done? What? You were going to ask me that? I thought about it. You're a great soldier in the OSF. You would have been a big help. Stop it! You're making me blush! That's a hard one, though. Would I choose friendship, or...? Or what? Oh, nothing! Yeah, I probably would have fought on Yuito's side. Can I ask why? I mean, we grew up together. He's not like you. I can't leave him on his own. You mean he's not reliable? No, not that. He has his own ideals, and he always works so hard. I think that's what makes him worry so much. It was hard for him when he had to fight you. So, I wanted to be with him during that hard time and help him. Oh. Honestly, I don't really understand. I'm sorry, I'm babbling. It's not that I don't like the idea of fighting together with you. What I don't understand is why you care about Yuito so much. What? You grew up together, but he's not family. Is it a good idea to be so devoted to another person that they're the deciding factor in whether you fight? I, I mean, I... I think depending on other people like that is emotionally immature. You don't have to say it like that. Sorry, I'm leaving. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. Hmm. You really are cool, Kasane. Cool? You were a bit standoffish in the past, but you always just slice through those others. I wish I could do that. It's not really like me to say this, but I can't help but admire you. I think I'm starting to 
understand you better. What a coincidence. I feel like I know you better too. Hanabi, about before. I said some insensitive things. It's okay. I'm sorry I just left like that. I've been thinking since then. I finally understand why you care about Yuito so much. So I want to help make your dream come true. What? What do you mean? I mean, you like Yuito. Whoa, whoa, let's talk outside, okay? Huh? Sure, I don't mind where we talk. Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. If you don't like him, do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data just in case. Objective data? For example, the temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Oh! Okay, that's enough. I admit it. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah? I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. I want you to tell him how you feel. For Naomi. Oh, but I just can't. Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane, I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? Because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier, or as a person. You said it before, it's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No, you were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh. Okay, I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny. Hey, Kasane. Back when you were a cadet, you didn't really talk to anyone besides Naomi. That's true. It's because I didn't find it necessary. Uh, I see. But when I think about those times, I'm really glad that you talk to me like this now because it means that you find it necessary now. It'll push me harder to become someone you can really rely on. you as well.
Oh, this is perfect. I was hoping to get your thoughts on fighting. Would you like to talk at Masubi's again? I'll treat you to whatever you like. You don't have to do that. I don't mind talking. I wasn't trying to bribe you with food. Please, consider it a token of my appreciation. Okay, let's go then. I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. You're not bothering me. I'm just wondering if I can really offer you anything. I mean, you're a Septentrion, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Yes, if you would be so kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame, and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input, but I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame, but my power is teleportation. I can close the gap the instant I swing, or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image, and it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts, but it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight more or less. That may be true. But think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength. But I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. He told me I was held captive by my own weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course. I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied though, so I guess this was okay. You're an intriguing person, Kasane. I apologize if that sounds strange. I meant it as praise. It didn't bother me. I'm glad. That practicality may be your greatest merit. You're an interesting person. 
I would like to learn more about you. Really? I think you're much more interesting than I am. <laughs>